Jesus, Son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus, Son of David, have mercy on me. Amen. Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Happy Sunday. Happy Mission Sunday. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Teresa, and I'm very happy to see you here. So we begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit and they shall be created and you shall renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit did instruct the hearts of the faithful, grant that by the same Holy Spirit we may be truly wise and ever rejoice in his consolation through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We're going to sing a song of praise to God. Praise my soul. Praise my soul, the King of heaven. To his feet thy tribute bring. Ransomed, healed, restored, forgiven. Who like thee his praise shall sing. Praise him, praise him, praise him, praise him. Praise the everlasting King. Amen. Amen. Today's Gospel reading from the Gospel of St. Mark is one of my favorites. It is where Jesus heals the blind man. We are all blind in one way or the other in sin or in sickness, or just born like that. But Jesus is the great healer, and he heals us in his own time. So let's read this story, and as we read, we'll just reflect. We're reading from the Gospel of St. Mark, chapter 10, verses 46 through 52. As Jesus was leaving Jericho with his disciples, and a sizable crowd, Bartimaeus, a blind man, the son of Timaeus, sat by the roadside begging. On hearing that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out. Let's stop here. He heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth. He couldn't see in the physical, but he could hear. Do we hear the Lord? when he calls us every day, every moment in the Gospels, in what's around us, in our jobs, in our vocations, in our family, do we hear Jesus? We continue. He began to cry out and say, Jesus, son of David, have pity on me. This prayer right here, is a prayer we ought to say every single day. Whenever we want to pray, it should be just an, just a quick prayer from our heart, a meaningful prayer. Just saying, Jesus, have mercy on me. Have pity on me, a sinner. Heal me because Jesus has the power to heal, to heal, to transform, to restore, to make us whole again. Amen. And we continue reading. And many rebuked him. Hmm. 
telling him to be silent. But he kept calling out all the more, Son of David, have pity on me. Jesus stopped and said, Call him. Amen. No matter what's going on around you, no matter the naysayers or those who just don't know any better, who tell you stop praying or stop disturbing God or stop doing what you're doing, stop your ministry or um, he's not going to hear you. Don't listen. Don't listen. Keep calling on Jesus. Keep crying out like blind Bartimaeus. Keep saying, Jesus, son of David have mercy on me have pity on me because jesus hears and he will stop and he will heal don't don't stop praying don't stop crying out as i'm encouraging you i'm encouraging myself amen so jesus is saying call him amen so they called the blind man saying to him take courage get up jesus is calling you and that's my message to, that's his message to me today. And my message to you today, Jesus is calling you. Be courageous. Keep crying to him. Hold on to him. Jesus heals. Remember John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son. That's our Lord Jesus. He gave him that whoever believes in him, will not perish, but will have everlasting life. Amen? Don't give up. Mm -mm. There are going to be bleak days. There are going to be joyful days. God owns everything. He sees you. He sees me. He sees our pain, our joy, our worry. Hold on to him. Trust in him. Remember the divine mercy. Jesus, I trust in you. Amen. Be one of those who said, take courage, get up. Encourage yourself and encourage others. Even if it's just by your prayer, by a smile, by a kind word, by your work, by giving, giving of yourself, giving of your time, your money, your talent. And especially as we celebrate Mission Sunday today, by helping the missions, by being a missionary yourself, by proclaiming the gospel in how we live our lives, and also by helping with our money, with our little donations, with our prayers for those who actually go out there, go into the hinterland, as you say, to preach God's word. You might just be, I might just be the only gospel someone might read, and it's hard. It's hard. But you're not supposed to do it by yourself because the Holy Spirit is our helper. We're supposed to call the Holy Spirit, ask him to strengthen us, to help us for the mission, to, for the mission of being encouragers, just as these people did. They said to blind Bartimaeus, take courage, get up. Jesus is calling you. So what did he do? He threw aside his cloak, sprang up and came to Jesus. Jesus said to him in reply, what do you want me to do for you? And that's what he's asking you and asking me today. I want healing. I want to follow Jesus with my whole life, with my mind, body, soul, and spirit. I want you to do the same. Amen. The blind man replied to him, Master, I want to see I want to see. I want to see Jesus in everything. I want to see Jesus in those around me, in those in the world, on my social media. I want to see Jesus even when it's hard to love or be charitable. I want to see Jesus because Jesus loves everyone. He gives us the strength to love because the word says, love God and love your neighbor as yourself. So when Jesus removes that blindness from our eyes, we get to see Jesus in everything around us. Don't you want to see? Like Bartimaeus, let us tell Jesus, I want to see. Because Jesus gives light. He gives light in our blindness in this world that is so dark. There's darkness everywhere. But don't be discouraged. 
Jesus is here. Jesus stops to hear us, just as he did. Read this passage, read this gospel over and over again till it fills your spirit to know that Jesus is so close to you and I. He is in us. He is with us. His name is Emmanuel. God is with us. Amen. So he said, Master, I want to see. Jesus told him, go your way. Your faith has saved you. Amen. Faith, 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 faith. We must have faith. Faith saves. You can't just say, oh yeah, I know Jesus. You must have faith that he will do what he says he's going to do because he always does. He is I am. What he did before, he will do now and he'll do again. Because God does not operate in time the way we look at time. Mm -mm. God is perfect. Amen. And he is the same yesterday, today, and forever. So as he did it in this time, over 2,000 years ago, for blind Bartimaeus, he is doing it right now. Have faith. And when our faith is weak, we cling to Jesus the more. We say, Holy Spirit, help me have faith. Give me faith. We read the word. We listen. For me, I listen to music, Christian music, gospel music. It elevates the mind. God, he dwells in our praises. Praise him. Bless him. Worship God in spirit and in truth. Amen. And let's conclude. Immediately, he received his sight and followed him on the way. Okay, for blind Bartimaeus, he got healed immediately and he followed Jesus. Some of us might not get healed immediately in the physical, but God is still working. He's watching us. He wants you and I to persevere in prayer. Don't say, oh, he's healed me. Oh, thank you. And I go my way. No, don't say, oh, he's not healed me. Shh, this isn't working. No. Just say, let God's will be done. No matter what, I'm going to follow Jesus. No matter what, I'm going to trust in Jesus. No matter what, I'm going to say, Jesus, I trust in you. Even when it gets harder, I cling to him the more and I follow him like blind Bartimaeus. Amen. Amen. We thank you, Lord, for this gospel. We thank you for everything you've done for us. And our prayer will always be, oh Lord, have mercy on us. And we will say, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me, a sinner. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. And so let's wrap up with a little song which just sings the prayer. And we say, Jesus. Son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus, Son of David, have mercy on me. Amen. God is good all the time. And all the time, our God is good. Let's say the grace together and we pray. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet, sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Rest and abide with us now and forever. Amen. Surely God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. God is good all the time. Have a very, very blessed week. Keep following Jesus and crying out to him for yourself and for others. Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Amen. See you next Sunday by God's grace. Bye.